Hey y'all, it's Jess here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I prepare my avocado hair mask. Stay tuned. Look, if you don't get this joke, then we cannot be funny. I'm just playing. It was just really funny. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm just um, getting the seed out of avocado. I'm so sorry y'all that I didn't record this video to where y'all could see me put everything into the uh, blender, but it was so late. It was like 12 o'clock at night and I was just so tired. But for this avocado hair mask, the ingredients that I did use was of course the avocado. Then I led to the mayo and I used about a tablespoon of that I used about a tablespoon of this organic raw honey as well. Uh, the next thing that I put in there, I think it's the egg. Yep, it's the egg. I only used one egg for it. Then I went to the extra virgin olive oil. I used about a tablespoon of that as well. Then I used the Jamaican black castor oil. And this one that I use, it has vitamin A. A, E, and D in it. And then if you look very closely, I'm so sorry, but if you look closely, I put about seven drops of tea tree oil in it. And then yeah, we're just gonna put it right on up. Y'all, it came out so smooth and just creamy. So I really feel like this was we did well with this so the benefits of avocados and hair is for one it's a great source of biotin and when you add this b complex vitamin back into your diet it helps your hair grow more healthily avocado it also contains antioxidants like vitamin a e d b6 and amino acids and minerals like potassium copper iron and magnesium all this promotes hair growth and it prevents hair loss and it also heals damaged onions so make sure you get those onions the egg that we put into our avocado hair mask it's going to be a great source of protein for our hair so it is going to increase the volume of your hair it's also going to promote hair growth it's going to strengthen your hair follicles it's going to hydrate and moisturize your hair cells I usually try to do this um, mask at least once a week, but especially when I've just taken down a protective style, like some braids. I, I just took down some knotless braids, and um, if y'all seen my last video, then y'all seen my hair. Um, and they were up for quite some time, and my hair kind of got super dry while it was in those braids, and I'm thinking it's because I kept it up so long. So I'm using this mask to um, put some protein back into my hair, to put some strength back into my hair, and just to um, overall re-moisturize my hair, rehydrate it, because like I said, it did get really dry. I'm just gonna do the same thing to the next three sections of my hair. I'm gonna finger detangle in some sections. I'm gonna spray it with the water because this mask works best on damp hair. So just be sure that you get your roots, um, get your edges, get the full shaft of your hair. And most importantly, please be sure to get your ends. Like I said, the avocado is gonna strengthen your ends. It's gonna heal them. And be generous with the amount of the avocado mask that you put on your hair because I actually use the entire bowl, the entire mixture went into my hair. Like y'all, my hair is already taken to it so well. I can see here how soft that it's already starting to get from being in those braids for at least seven weeks. So, yeah, it's so pretty. So yeah, I'm just going to twist it up and I'm going to twist up the next two sections as well. So I'll just go ahead and let y'all, um, I guess, enjoy that. If y'all can see, my hair was extremely dry. And it, it, 
it's probably looking like I'm not using um, a lot of the mask on my hair, but I promise I am. I just have low porosity hair and I'll dig a little deeper into that in another video. But that's the reason why it looks like this stuff is just sitting on my hair and not being absorbed, but it is. I didn't try to do these twists pretty perfect or anything like that. I just put them in there so that I can make sure that the mask was getting deep into my hair. And y'all, when I say using this mask has really grown my hair, I believe. I think it's just the natural products that I put in there. And it is a little harder for your hair to absorb um, products from food as you know than it is from products that you buy at the store so that's why i just kind of let mine sit for a little while longer i usually let this sit in my hair for about 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure that my hair absorbs the nutrients and the proteins that i'm trying to give it so we're just going to twist this last section up I probably could have got a little bit. So I actually used the entire bowl. Yep, I did. And now I'm gonna put a conditioning um, cap on my head and let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, so I'm currently in the shower. I just wanted y'all to see what the hair looks like. Oh, it looks so pretty. It's so soft. Like, look at those curls. And this is the hair right here after the treatment has been done. Like, I haven't rinsed it out or anything. It's still in there marinating while I'm trying to wash the rest of it out. Okay, y'all, like, I am 75% like done with my shower. But I just want y'all to see this. That's literally all I did was wash out that avocado hair mask. And y'all. Try this. So, oh, just look at how soft my hair is. It just pulled apart so easily. So I actually did detangle that part of my hair before twisting it up, but it just took too long, so I ended up cutting it out. But yeah, definitely detangle your hair before twisting. Just look at that. So pretty. I'm doing the ones in the front separate. I'm just gonna do, redo the one bill. Oh, don't mind what I was saying in this part. I was just ranting about that stupid brush. Like, I should have just kept the same white girl brush, but I wanted to try something different, something new, and I ended up hating that brush. So, yeah. Hopefully, this does not leave any residue on my head. It feels too sticky. There's something weird about it. Twist out, come bum. Bum ass twist out. Just like I mean, can we just give it up for the avocado hair mask? Y'all, look at this. I just took down braids that was up for seven weeks. Look at my hair. I mean, this is not the hype. Like, this, y'all, this is legit soft, defined curls. Like, so soft. Easy to detangle. This is usually the damn side. Even it turned out pretty good, so I'll put this on right now. I know I said I was gonna go use it on one side, but let's give it a try. So usually when I do my twists, I do them really pretty, really neat. Um, but at this point, y'all, it's it's nearly four o'clock in the morning, and I'm just ready to get this done. But Keep in mind, no matter how you do your twist, if you part them, if you just pick pieces of hair and twist, your hair will still come out very pretty if you use the right products and if you use the right moisture. And if you want to see how this twist out turns out, tune in to my next video. 
100 sub giveaway winner is Danielle Kennedy. Thank you, girl, for all your support. Thank you. So, like, the back is already twisted in one big twist, and I'm pretty much gonna leave it that way. I'm just gonna put some of this um, Jamaican black casserole on it to seal in the moisture that we just put in it. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my Essential 17 on my scalp. Anything like that, I would definitely recommend you try this deep avocado hair mask. Especially if you want to see your hair grow and retain some length. I would definitely use the products that I put into mine because I'm telling you it's better than any hair mask that I've ever bought. Bye y'all.